Huh. All right, folks, we're down here in the in the Big Tennessee Valley Cable Network VIP ten, I like to call it, and uh, we're got the we're gonna have the Big Tennessee Alabama game cranking up here in a few minutes. We're gonna go around and talk to more people. We got some people here we wanted to talk to. Now, where where are you where are you from? Originally, I'm from Detroit. Now I live in Nashville. Really? And where do you go to school? Vandy. Vandy. What about you? I'm originally from Delaware, but I also attend Vanderbilt. All right. Now. I asked you a while ago if y'all were for the Tennessee or Alabama. You said no use for Vanderbilt. But <laughs> surely, surely between these but two teams, this particular game. If we have to choose between Tennessee and Alabama, we're going to be, for, I'll be for Tennessee. We'll definitely be for Tennessee. <laughs> all right, all right. How, how is Vanderbilt doing this year? They, I, don't, I hadn't even kept up with it. I, I don't think they're doing so good. <laughs> they did win again last year. Uh, last, last year. They won last week against uh, North Texas University but I believe that, that is their only victory of the season. <laughs> now, what do y'all, have y'all been down here to this barbecue thing before? No, we're the interpreters for the Austrian, German, and Swiss barbecue teams. Well, we need to follow you over to a point so we can talk to them. Okay, that'll be through, fine. I guess we'll talk to you to, to talk to them, right? Yeah, probably, <laughs> through right, yeah. one of us. Has the judging started yet? Yes, yes, there are two Austrian, or well, an Austrian and a German, no, wait, a Swiss and a German judge and um, then 28 other American judges. So as we speak, the judging is still going on? Yeah, they're judging, right now they're judging um, brisket. brisket, beef brisket. All right, all right. Well, we're, folks, we're going to go around and talk to them and, and, and uh, uh, see what we can find out down here at the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue. Stay with us. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back right here on from the Tennessee Valley Cable Network from Lynchburg, Tennessee, the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue. Stay with us. Hey, folks, we... Hello, Bill Hall. How is it? How's everything down here in Lynchburg today, sir? Well, I tell you, all as always, it's it don't get no better. <laughs> don't get no better than this. This is a great community and a great, great event they have over every year. Just proud to be part of it. All right. Now, have you been judging some today or what? Oh yeah. This is uh, we've got about probably another hour or so to go. We've only I, well, we go by numbers, and so we never know what category is next or, as you know, uh, who's doing what. So it's all a numbers game. Uh, in addition to the taste and the appearance and the tenderness. Uh -huh. well, I was talking to some uh, uh, people there from Vanderbilt in Nashville. They said they had uh, free food everywhere. They was going around tasting everything. Yeah. Is that right? Well, I think this year they are, they are a lot. You know, in years past, uh, I think the health department or somebody prevented people, the general public, from uh, being able to sample or purchase or something like that. But yeah. I think there's some changes this year. I don't know exactly what they are. but. Uh, I think everybody seems to be uh, enjoying it more so this year than ever before, and especially with these international teams here. Now you've been down here quite regularly, haven't you? Well, I've been blessed to, to be a part of each and every one of them uh, for eight years in a row now. Well, that's great. That's great. What part of the barbecue you like the best? Well, obviously the ribs. <laughs> that's my specialty. Of course, it's all, I, like, I like judging it all, and it gives us a chance to see uh, what other people in other states are doing, gets ideas yeah. from them, they get ideas oh, yeah. from us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, so, uh, somebody said he's having a hot air balloon out here today. I don't. I don't. I see saw it. one on a truck uh, about 10 o'clock this morning when we came over. But other than that, uh, I'm sure. I think they're going to have the tethered rides for the kids. I believe. Yeah. Well, I'm glad the weather held off. It's uh, just real nice so here. Far, so right. far. Okay. All right. And it, could, it could be a lot hotter. Could be a lot cooler. Just about right. <laughs> That's right. And you know we have to take what we get when you deal with Mother Nature. <laughs> you have any favorites out here as far as uh, uh, people that are cooking? Well, uh, no, I don't, and that's what's so good about it. We don't know who's doing what because we, we deal strictly with the numbers. Uh, we have a table number, uh, a judge number, We have uh, and the teams have numbers, and so we never uh, uh, see who's doing what. It's all a numbers thing. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be at any other events coming up here in the fall and on in toward Christmas? I'm sure you're going to be marching in a lot of parades. or Well, yeah, we, yeah we've got a, got a full plate, so to speak. As a matter of fact, through... Uh, I think right now, uh, through March 22nd, that's when we have our next uh, uh, diabetes walk on the wild side at the National Zoo. So, right now we got things to do through March 22nd of '97. My goodness! <laughs> well, that's a full, full. Th uh, how's this weather going to be now for the next? It's just typical fall weather, I guess. That's about right. And you know, we uh, uh, we we watch these uh, these weather systems, and of course, we hit or miss or win or lose as to how we. Uh, uh, best second guess the, the computer models and uh, the last night I worked Thursday uh, we knew that it'd be a threat of rain a real threat and uh, we thought another uh, you know more wind would be likely but hopefully you know good things happen to good people and it'll hold off or that that went through earlier this morning is the end of it 
And I guess the name of the game is the Gulf Moisture. It plays such, plays such a factor throughout the whole season. Oh, yeah. That, that's one of the things you have to watch. We, you know, in addition to that moisture, if you get that lifting or you get the, the, the you know, that's sort of the part of the fuel. And we like to call the cold fronts a match to light that. And so uh, that's usually uh, when you get, uh, you know, some of your showers and storms. Hopefully nothing severe. And hopefully the rain will end before we get through with this. All right. Well, we'll be looking for you there on Channel 4. Okay. And uh, glad to see you down here again. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again soon. Okay. I appreciate being here. Good bunch of people. All right, folks. Bill Hall down here at the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Stay with us. Barbecue, of course, then what is the name of your booth here? Uh, we are the European team, the Austrian team. We come from Austria. There are three teams, one from Salzburg and, and the other uh, between Salzburg and Vienna. All right. Uh, now, obviously, you've got a long line of people coming around here. Uh, uh, Amanda, spin the camera around there. You've, you've got the longest line of the whole area here. What, what is it? What's the secret? I think uh, the American uh, wants to taste the taste uh, the European way of life and the European right. way of yeah. barbecuing. Uh -huh. That there's a, a great difference. We we are, uh, doesn't uh, need so much smoke in, in our uh, in our meal. Right over here. Now, what is it? What is it you're cooking here? Looks like you got some chicken. Now, uh, now we have we have chicken. Yeah, chicken uh, at the hole uh -huh. and uh, uh, se seasoned with a uh, with secret se seasonal flavors and. I, I think it, it it tastes good, tastes fine. All right. Yeah. Now you've got some. Uh, have you got any special? I noticed that on the table. That, is that, that's not yours. It looks like some kind of a uh, special spices. Is there? A no. We, well, we we have the the bases are, are, are uh, uh, grilled seasons from from here. We we got from 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 America. Uh -huh. And and then we have a uh, uh, a little herbs from from Austria and and uh, yeah. salt and pepper and uh, and mustard and so on. Um, My goodness. Well, I'll have to try one here in a few minutes when we get a, get a chance to make our rounds. Quite a crowd out here today. Pardon? A lot of people here today. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, yes, a lot of people. Uh -huh. it's, it's a great experience to be here. Now, if you, how long have you been over here in the country? The, the whole week. One so, week. One week. Yes, yeah. and tomorrow we have to go. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> that's too bad. That's right. Now, that's we right. talked to some of your other countrymen down there at the big Okoe Fest down there on the Okoe River. Yeah. They had some athletes down there doing the kayaking on the Okoe River back during the Olympics. Uh -huh. And uh, we talked to a few, a few people. Nice, it, li nice countryside over there in Austria. Yes, of course. Uh, all Americans have to come to Austria and see what, what's the difference to, to, to your state. Uh -huh. All right. We have a, a, a very, very well landscape and, and, and the, the nature in Austria is really different. Not so flat like here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You like Lynchburg, Tennessee? Yeah. Yes, of course. But it's a little bit a dry place. <laughs> a little dry. <laughs> a, a little yeah. dry. Uh, that's the really... Moore County is dry. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's really different to Austria. <laughs> <laughs> all right. uh, we all are innkeepers, yeah, and and so so it we we, we can understand that, that you have a, a really dry place there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we look forward to tasting some of your your uh, good stuff here. You've got all kinds of a lot of people waiting in line, folks. They're just uh, I know it looks like you got maybe 50 people waiting uh -huh. to taste your products here. So you're gonna have to keep keep busy and make more. Okay, I will do. All right, <laughs> thank you for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Me. Folks, stay with us. We'll be right back after these words. We're going to talk to more people down here at the Big Lynchburg Barbecue. We got us right here on the camera. And this, I guess you're with Austrian Television Service. Amanda, look at that. All right. I, I, I think all our t TV cameramen need to have one of these. Now... To Yodla. Yeah, that's all right. That keeps the that keeps the attention. It keeps people looking at the camera, right, instead of looking off the other way. Look at that. All right. Now, uh, what? Where are you from? Austria. Austria. Now, what's the name of the service over there? Uh, it's ORF, uh -huh. Austrian Broadcast Corporation. All right. I think we will get that on the satellite every once in a while over here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, were you over here covering the Olympics, maybe? No, no. Okay. I've never been in America before. Is that right? It's the All first right. time. All right. Are you getting a lot of good footage down here in Lynchburg? Yes, yes, really. Uh, right. It's a, a beautiful country, and it's uh, much more larger than Austria. We are a little country. We only have 7 million inhabitants. All right. Yeah. Now, now, are you shooting any other video while you're in the United States? No, we have been uh, on Sunday here and we stay till Sunday and we only make for barbecue uh, world hey. championships only for hey that's worth the big plane ride over here isn't it yeah, yeah get yeah. that barbecue
Come on, we're, let's hear this thing again. Our battery went out on us. Well, I know a lot of kids would like to have that for Christmas. Yeah, but this is, I think this is only Austrian, Austrian kids know what it is because this is real Austrian yodeling. You ever heard yodeling before? Oh yeah, yeah, a little bit here and there. We try to, some of those country music people try to yodel every once in a while. Can you yodel? No, I wouldn't want to try to be too, can you yodel? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. not. Not everybody in Austria is able to yodel. But we got um, some mu musicians with us who do this very, very good. Oh, good. Yeah. Bring any with you? We, we, we brought them with us as oh. our special weapon against oh. the Americans. <laughs> because I think um, the Austrians, they don't know how to, to cook like Americans. So oh. they are a bit afraid that their food is not so good like the American food. So they brought our music. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, but I tell you what, that's that's what makes it good. When we get tired of our own stuff, we like to eat other people's cooking. I do too. Yeah, we hope so. It tastes a little different. It's I think it's it's more spicier and not so smoky. Uh -huh. Of course, a good Austrian spirits to go with it rounds it off. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did your cohort go? He was. I want to get him over. He's got one of the outfits on. I wanted the cable viewer to see his outfit. Yeah. Can they, you get him over here on camera? Yeah, of course. This is originally Austrian outfit. Right. Uh, Hans? Hans, come oh, over? come on, Hans. Let me look. Let's see that outfit. Well, look at here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that. Is that from? This is from Austria. It's an Austrian national coat. Uh huh. Cloth. That's with, nice. With oh, an yeah. Austrian knife. Oh man, look at that. And here. What? Uh oh. What is this? No, it's for so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like it now. I don't know what that is, but it, it, it's awful tantalizing. Yeah. I'll tell you. All right. All right. Now, what does something like this cost, money, money-wise? What? Um, I think in Austria, uh, twenty thousand shilling. It's uh, two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Oh no, two thousand dollar American yeah. money for this. That keep you good and warm during those big ice storms, right? A lot of snow. Winter time gets cold. No, this is ever all over the year good, or warm or cold. Oh, yeah. And this is so good. What uh, says she wakes meat? It's these trousers are growing with the people. So young Austrian boys they get these leather trousers, and when they grow up, it it grows with the people. It stretches, huh? Yeah, it stretches. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That's uh, that's amazing. It is, but we Austrians, we are a bit weird, so oh. no wonder. <laughs> Y'all well, put on a good show down there at the Okoe River, down there at the Olympics. Now, we interviewed some of your people down there, uh -huh. uh, I believe it was last July. Had a good time down there at the Okoe, big Okoe River. Yeah, I think we've got a very good swimmer. Yeah, and she was fine. And uh -huh. and also a runner, a woman who, who won the races. Yeah, we're very fond of these people. All right. Yeah. We hope uh, then we make a 6th of July in the next year European Championship and one or two or three American teams come to us to Austria. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to take my kids over on vacation, fly over, stay a week or two. Okay. Nice area. Thank you very much for talking with us. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you also. Now, now can, can, you t can you tell him to say in his native language that you're watching the Tennessee Valley Cable Network? Can he say that in his mm -hmm. native language? Kannst du sagen, We always get people to do this, folks. <laughs> Go ahead. Wir, wir sehen gerne Tennessee Cable Network. Yeah, we see. Into the camera. Right there. <laughs> we see gerne Tennessee Network. Tennessee Net Cable Network. Tennessee Cable Network. There okay. you go, folks. <laughs> I always like for you people to say that. It, we use it year round. Like that very much. Thank you very much. Okay. It, thanks for talking with you. Yeah. Folks, stay with us. We're going to talk to more people right down here at the big Jack Daniels barbecue. Stay with us. Amanda. All right, folks down here, your name. My name is Joe from Austria. All right, your name. Franz, Frankie. All right. Now, what is it? What do you call this that you're playing? This is accordion. Accordion. Yeah. Austrian accordion. Austrian accordion, yeah. Okay. Special. And then you're playing the what? Yeah, this is a guitar. Okay. A rhythmus guitar. 
All right. Rhythm guitar. Rhythm guitar. Yes. Austrian rhythm Austrian. guitar. Austrian, yes. All right. Now, what are you going to play? What's the name of it? Uh, the next song. The next song is a special yodeler song. Okay. From the later Hosen right. yodeler. All right, folks. Okay. Let's go. Natürlich auch dazu, so hat's bei uns im Land a jeder frische Bur, was an New York und kannst du bist der gar ein gemachter Mann, weil das bestimmt ganz sicher nicht a jeder kann. Hey! Sie braucht keinen Reifenschluss und auch keinen Hosenschlitz, weil du alle sein musst. Sie muss nicht wuschen und sie muss ja gar nicht bügig sein. Also In Australien, auf den Golanhöhen und auch in Spanien hab ich gejohlt, ja schon in den besten Häusern drin, mit meiner Lederhosen war ich jetzt so drin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We done, we've got a big crowd here, Amanda. Swing the camera on around. Now, what are you going to play for us next? Going to do it one more? The next song? Okay. One more? One more. One more. Right? In winter, there was a No. Okay. The next song is from the winter time. Okay. That's coming. In okay. All right. Two, Frankie. Two, two. Okay. I said, it doesn't get any better than this. This is great. Translation block, man. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. Hey, where are you? Hey, there he is, the man. Yeah. What do you got there? Oh, boy. Hey. Can you zoom in on that? That's the name of their group. How do you pronounce that? How do you, how do you say that? This is a group from Austria. All right. This, uh, the name is Gaudi Musikanten. Uh huh. Gaudi is fun. 
right. Fun music. Fun, yeah. Fun music, okay? All right, all right. Thank, Thank you. Music. Thank you, folks, right here from the Tennessee Valley Cable Network in down, downtown Lynchburg, Wiseman Park, big barbecue fest from Austria, folks. There they are. How you say that again? What is that? Not say that is Gaudi Musikanten. And that's who they are, folks. Stay with us. We're down here at Jack Daniels Barbecue, folks. We're here at the L&L &L Cooking Crew, Royal Oak. Well, that's the charcoal bruquettes, right? LL -L Cooking Crew is the name of the... But y'all make that Royal Oak charcoal, too? Oh, no, we don't make it. Okay. But it's just, you use it, though. Now, what is that the secret of the secret recipe? Is that Royal Oak charcoal, or is it in the spices you put on that meat? Not in. Slow cooking. Oh, here we go. Here's the man with a knife right here. Just go ahead. What is it now? Slow cooking on Royal Oak charcoal. That is the secret. Uh-huh. And of course, Royal Oak charcoal is available at the stores around the different areas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We travel around the country cooking for Royal Oak, and their product's good. Guys, give me some more. Give me some more meat, Kelly. More meat. Got more meat. Look at the meat he's got in there. Though, what do you got in there? Shoulders. These are Boston butts. Boston butts. And shoulders. All right, and shoulders. Good. Now, have y'all been judged yet? We're doing our judging well, we're right, now. right now. We're picking up plate. Get it for the uh, judges. All right. All right. I well, wish you a lot of luck. Thank we'll you. see what happens. We'll have some of the results, folks, here shortly. Right here, and they're going at it. Looks really good. I'd like to be a judge myself and sit down here and have a good bite of that. <laughs> Boy, it looks good. While you're waiting to give him that meat, where are you from? Uh, Atlanta, Jonesboro, uh -huh. Georgia. All right. All around Atlanta. All around Atlanta. Now, Atlanta y'all been. Suburbs. All right. Have y'all been down here before? Up here before? This is our third trip. Third trip third up trip. here. All right. All right. Look at. He's getting that meat. Boy, he's going. Marinating it, putting that special ingredient, that special secret sauce, right? Yeah, Make absolutely. it good. All right, well, I'll let them get, they're trying to get ready for the judging, folks. And, and they're over here getting, looks like something else. Now, are they going to judge this too, or is this just, is that right? What Now, what are you making here? It's a pina colada cake. A pina colada cake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My goodness. Well, yeah. folks, folks, they're still working on it. We're not even going to show it to you. Because I, maybe, maybe there'll be some left. When we get through, we're going to go over here and talk to them at the smoking in the boys' room. Now, pan the camera right over there. You see, they've got another long line. They somebody told me they had some real good stuff over here. A lot of people waiting in line to to uh, get some of that. I'm going to try to get around here and talk to one of them. Looks like they're getting ready for the big judging too. Have, you, have they judged y'all yet? Yeah, we turned in the whole hog and entry. All right, all right. Are you working on these hungry people here We're waiting on you? Hungry people now, yes sir. Uh -huh. Boy, it looks awful good. Thank you. Mouth watering. We now where, so. now where y'all from? We're from uh, Leewood, Kansas, Leewood, a suburb Kansas. of Kansas City. Uh huh. Smoking in the boys' room. Now, have you been up to to the Big Jack Daniel Barbecue before? Uh, yes, smoking in the boys' room's been here twice before. All right, all right, all right. Well, you got a lot of carving to do. A lot of good looking meat. Yeah. We'll let you get caught up. We'll try to swing back by here and talk to you here in a little while. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll be back. I'd like to try a little bit of that later. All right. Folks, stay with us. We're going to be talking to more people right out here. Can you see me on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network? Stay with us. We're down here at the Big Fat Boys uh, booth at Barbecue from Temple, Texas, but we got a Tullahoma native here. We were just talking to you. Your name again? Paul Scott. Now, Paul, you've been down here several times, and you told me you like the barbecue, but oh, yeah. you, you need, they need to give you some of those wet naps like Colonel Sanders well, has. they do, but if that barbecue stuff dries on your hands, you have, your fingers stick together, and I ain't figured out how to get them undone, really. You know, it's great. It really is. The samples are nice. It's, Last couple of years, they hadn't let the folks give samples, and I think the crowd uh, missed that, really. Uh -huh. People enjoy, you know, just talking to the people one-on-one -on -one there and getting the samples from them, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the ribs are outstanding. Yeah. And where'd you, where'd you uh, get your sample at? You know, I don't even know the name of them. Everyone that was just about had a line, I got a sample. Mm -hmm. Being honest with you, you know. This looks like the smoking in the boys' room and the... Uh, the, that was uh, good. Yeah, they had more samples than anybody. Uh, uh, I noticed the the uh, people from uh, uh, Kansas down there did on around the edge there. Yeah. Kansas group, they had a lot. They sure did. The Austrian is people is what I was trying to say. They're they're uh, they're trying. They can't meet demand fast enough. Is that right? Austrian crew up here. Now you're from Estel Springs, right? Yeah, Nick Burt from Estel Springs. Uh, Having a good time down here. About the fourth year in a row I've been down here. 
Fourth year in a row. Well, that's great. You like, you got what everybody wants right here in your yeah, hand. I got some from uh, Fat Boys, I think. And I'll finish it up just so you get through with me. <laughs> well, we'll let you get back to it. All right. Nice seeing you all down here today. We're going to talk to some more people. Glad this good. weather held off. I do too, really. All right, folks, stay, stay with us. Yeah. We'll be back. All right, good, good. you got a line of people here, too. There's, uh, what, two groups of you from Austria? Two, you and the other people over there? Three. Three? Three. Three of them? Three. Okay, we'll have to go visit the third one. Where's the third one at? Right over? Uh, right there, right here. Two groups. Uh, another one down there? One. Two groups. Oh, two groups, two groups up there. All right, okay. Well, let's get up here, folks. Pan around there, Amanda. If we could, Can we come up here a second and talk to you? Y'all getting ready for the judging? Big judging. Getting ready to yes. have it judged. What, what part of Austria are you from? Upper Austria. You're from Austria? Yes. yes. What North, part? North of Austria. North of Austria. North of Austria. All right, all right. Yes. Nice country. Y'all got some good eating here, I see. Looks good. This is good, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's getting that, that fire going, folks. It's boiling up. They're getting ready to ju judge you here soon, I guess. Do y'all do y'all very do y'all speak English any much at all? Very little, but it is real good. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they've got a big cooker up here, folks. Now they, this, did you bring this from Austria? The cooker? No, no, no. Oh, cooker's it's, local. Uh, we landed from Texas. Daniel. Okay. All right. Oklahoma. Tones. Tullahoma. All right. Oklahoma. Tones. Oklahoma. Yes. Oklahoma. Yes. All right. All of you from Northern Austria. Northern Austria, all of you. Between Salzburg and Linz. All right. All right. Yeah. Nice countryside. Yes. And here comes the players again. I'll get out of your way. Y'all are real busy. Oh, no. oh boy, I got a little singe off that one, folks. A little, little flare up there. I have to get on over here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What, are you from what, are you from Northern Austria too? What, oh, what part of Austria? Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Everybody's happy here. Yeah. I know it. I know it. You just got all kinds of things going on. Thank you. Just all kinds of things. I'm I'm over here on this other side. I'm gonna have to. You got music celebration. <laughs> Jamie Cooper, folks, with the was that Channel 48 or out of Huntsville. He's, they got a lot of news people down here. We talked to Bill Hall earlier. We're looking around for uh, the other the other uh, fellow from Channel 5, Chris Clark. He's around here somewhere. We'll talk to him in a few minutes. All the way from Austria. Got some good eating. Could I get a little sample for the cable viewers? I'll tell you what, cable viewers. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked him for a sample and he said I don't speak English. There he is. All right. There you are, Amanda. Can you see that? Now I'm going to take a bite of this for the cable viewers out there, if y'all don't mind. And I'll tell you how good it is. Come down and have some of our pork shoulder. Folks, you've missed a good one. Come down and eat some of our S Special Austrian recipe, right? Recipes, special Austrian recipe. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Doing a real good job carving that up, folks. You missed a good one if you didn't get down here. We're going to try to get down away from this fire. If you can zero in on the players over here. Great cooking, great cooking. It's our camera. Amanda, can you get a shot of us? We have our camera right there. You do? Yes, we do. And who are you? We're with the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Where, where are y'all from? Uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Cooper and Channel 48. Cooper. All right, all right. I may have seen you on Channel 48. Yeah. Sometimes I do get up early. <laughs> well, most people do, and that's what, that's why we uh, make a living doing it that way. Now, your name? Wallace Harmony. Your name? Selena. All right, Selena. Yeah, we were never seen you on TV. You know, everybody looks different when you see them in person. Something about that TV, it makes you look a little different. It's hard to recognize. What time are you on? We're on cable access throughout the 
Valley region. Oh. We're growing. Hi. Cable access. Well, we do watch y'all early in the morning. You always got a lot going on. Always something different on the Jamie Cooper show. Yeah, That's right. It's never a boring moment. We try to try to get everybody's day started well and try to get them up and out to work with a smile on their face. Now, does he always work that camera? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to get him out from behind it. Most of the times he, he likes to walk around. After 20 years of doing that, it's hard to break the habit. Is that right? He's good at it. That's yeah. right. He is good at what he does. That's right. <laughs> He's got us on there now. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're on the cable network here. There's Jamie Cooper, he's running around. He gets a little better picture than we do. We, our, I tell you what, that eight millimeter is awful hot. <laughs> You're right. It's a lot lighter. Yeah. So, uh, have y'all tried the barbecue yet? Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it, Wallace? It's great. It's great. Have you tried it? I just tried some of this Austrian. This is the first time I've had some, and it's great. Have you found the Germans yet? No, we, where are they? Um, we'll have to find them. Wallace, aren't they around the, um, yeah, they're great. Right. It's All great. Right. We'll go down there and talk to them. Well, they certainly put on a show. Uh, we've had a great time, haven't we, Wallace? Sure have. They always put on a good time here in Lynchburg, the Jack Daniels folks. All right. All right. What, what about it do you like the best? Oh, just all of it. Good, good food, good people, and good time. All right. Well, it's nice talking to you folks from Huntsville. You also. We hope to see you. Yeah. All right. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, from Channel 48, your name is Sab Sab Selena. Selena and Wallace Harmony. All right, Wallace. Thank you, folks. Stay with us right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Hey, folks, got Jamie Cooper down here at the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue. Now, what about it do you like? Well, I like everything. The people mainly is what I'm looking for. You know, you can always find something unusual. Of course, I tell you what, y'all, you know a guy named Roger Bashir's? No, I don't. I've heard of him. Now, Roger is the ultimate character up here. He's the PR man for Jack Daniels, but there's all sorts of unusual. If you can't see somebody unusual up here, you ain't going to find them nowhere. That's right. Of course, the barbecue's not bad either. Barbecue ain't bad at all here, but uh, you know, that's good entertainment and everything. It's just one of the best places to be anywhere across the South. There's no other best better than Lynchburg, Tennessee on a day like today. Of course, Alabama's getting about ready to beat Tennessee right now in just a few minutes. Yeah, I understand that tent down there is going to get packed. <laughs> so we're, we're anxious to see what's going to happen there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, we don't get any better than watching the Alabama-Tennessee game. you got this great barbecue right down here in Lynchburg. Tell you what, you know. it's just uh, the only thing, the sun didn't shine today, but there's enough good to eat and go around anywhere. In this. Yeah, you get better color pictures on a sunless day, though. That's what I heard. As long as it ain't raining. <laughs> as long as it ain't raining. Folks, Jamie Cooper from Cooper & Company, and if you don't get them on the cable, call them down there at Huntsville right. Channel 48 and get them to put, on, put you on their cable system. That's right. Thank you a whole lot. Thank it's you. great to be in Lynchburg. All right. Jamie Cooper, folks. Stay with us right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. We'll be right back. Down here. Now, what, what's the name of this uh, group here? We are Swiss Bull Grills. Swiss, but you're not you're not from Switzerland, are you? Doesn't look like, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have fooled me. Now, what is this you got in your hand here? Okay, this is the cowbells in Switzerland. Cowbells. Yes, but this is for decorations. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks it like. Sure. Yeah. We always find out where that cow is. Yeah, yeah exactly. We don't lose the cow. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you're you're a, a plug in Oklahoma Joe's barbecue sauce. Yes, exactly. They are um, they are our sponsor as well. They, they, they're telling us how to how they tell us this competition and they help us as well. We went to Oklahoma and joined this. Uh, his his um, courses, sort of courses. Then that's why he gave us this. Now, how long you been in Switzerland? Seven years. Seven years. Yes. And before that, I'm from Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> how do you, how do you like it in Switzerland? Yeah, nice, nice country. Uh -huh. But in winter it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it is. Now, uh, how long have you been in the United States? Just a week. A week? Okay, just yeah. for the barbecue team. Yeah, first time, but right. it will not be the last time. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I, I, I'm sure it is. We hope to get over and visit you sometime. We'd like to. Thank you. Have you got anything you'd like to add to the cable viewers out there about the big barbecue? Is it, is it about the barbecue? Is it? Oh, about the barbecue? I think this is a big experience that I'm um, joining this competition and uh, I think everybody doing well, do their best. All right, well, welcome back again. Thank you. All right, folks, stay with us right here. The big Swiss tent. Everybody down here is from Switzerland, right? Yes. All right, yes. Now, the, and then there's the Germans. Now, where are the Germans located? Just next to us. Oh, right over here. Okay, we'll talk to them here in a few minutes, folks. European community right here in, in Lynchburg, Tennessee at the Big Bell Buckle Barbecue. Stay with us. 
We'll be back. Hey, we're not on. It's a little a little town by a soup garden. It's a German barbecue tent, and as you can see, they've got all kinds of great things going on. You know, what part of Germany are you from? From, from the south part, uh -huh. from Germany. And I come from Stuttgart, from, uh, do you know, Daimler Benz, the cars. Uh -huh. And uh, there we come from, from a little town, it's called Tübingen. And we, we were here for the first time in, in USA, and it's very nice here. All right. Uh, what kind of barbecue do you, do you have here? Chicken and ribs, or? We have chicken, ribs, and uh, you, you must ask our uh, uh, chief cook. He's standing here. There he is. Hello? What kind of barbecue do you have here today? What kind of barbecue? We do barbecue like the American do it. Because we like to do another way, we tried to begin to start a new way where we can combine the American barbecue with a European culinaire style of eating. But the judge say no and we can't do it so. But right now these guys will try one piece of meat. Uh -huh. we, we, we made it for him to start with this barbecue culinaire. And the slogan is smoke out and flavor in. All right, yeah. Is this some of the judges over here? I don't know where, where they belong. I think there there are people out of from the church and you know experts. I will so I will the say experts. experts. Amanda, can you zoom in, uh, swing around there? The experts sitting over there. Are y'all from about the same part of Germany? No, we yeah we come f uh, especially from Tübingen. Around Tübingen, it's uh -huh. a university town. Stuttgart is the bigger town there. It's Baden-Württemberg, yeah. close to the Black Forest. All right, beautiful countryside over there, yeah. beautiful. But here is beautiful too, especially yesterday we had the whole night long raining. Uh -huh. well, that's why they got these nice tents out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we, uh, hope you win something. You got one You got the one sh deal here now, team member. We got it, we got it from Jack Daniels. All right. You know, especially the whole thing is an invitation from Jack Daniels. There were very important people from the Kansas City Barbecue Association, uh, Donna Myers and some others in Germany at the European Barbecue Contest, and they saw what we did, and she were she were out of the world, and she say you will come to us to show the Americans how you do, and so we can perhaps we can start a new way to be yeah. to to do very well. Uh, at 1999 and the World Barbecue uh, Competition in Dachsen in the Switzerland. Oh, that'd be a nice thing to go to. Folks, you get on over there, that'd be big, great big event. There will be Americans, Germans, Europeans, you know, Europeans, Australians. You, we, we try to get everybody who likes to come because barbecue shall be fun, shall take the people together, you know, some kind of peace perhaps it, 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 it uh, getting under the people peace you know that's a thing everybody likes it I think uh -huh. they have they have like a lot of Jack Daniels in, in Germany imported yeah in. yeah yeah Jack Daniels is important in Germany too yeah is it very expensive over there no no uh, mostly the Jack, uh, Jack Daniels uh, you drink it in a drink it's a uh, right it's uh, yeah with coke with coke or other stuff yeah they don't sip it much over there do they yeah like they do here yeah. <laughs> all right well i hope you come back next year to the big jack yeah. daniels barbecue thank you very I, much I from think germany jack daniels will invite us again all right all right all right folks thank you thank you crossing the bridges folks right here down here to jack daniels barbecue stay with us we're going to be talking to a whole lot more down here a lot going on down here in in uh, I was going to say War Trace, Lynchburg, Tennessee. We've been at so many places. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Oh. 
Stay with us. We'll be right back. Now, somebody said you were really important. Well, I don't know how important I am. <laughs> I am uh, Frank Frog Bobo, and I'm the uh, Grand Pit Master for Jack Daniel for this World's Championship Barbecue. Right. I'm a retired master distiller oh. at Jack Daniel. So I uh, I was given this job after I retired, right? well, which well, this job is a great job, party and food. You know, we, we covered the uh, Koi Fest down there, talked to a lot of the people in the Olympics from all over the world, Europe, and, and uh, this is almost like being back down there again. Oh, yeah. This this is between the Olympics and the old county fair, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where people walk around and do nothing but look and talk to the neighbors and have a lot of fun, you know? Of course, we do have a lot of grease pole climbing and pig races and uh, country dog uh, contests. And there's a whole lot that can, people can do, you know, besides that, but the main thing is visiting and visiting with all these cookers, these people. We have 35 teams here, uh, five of them from Europe. Uh, I believe there's three from Australia, one from Switzerland, and one from Germany. And uh, besides the ones from all over the United States, from Seattle, Washington to, to Georgia, you know. And uh, all these people have won contests, you know, I'm talking about national contests, and they're the best in the business. Yeah. They're here competing against each other to see who is the world's champion. Well, that European flavor certainly adds something to this thing. It, 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 real unique. They, they had the long, some of the longest lines uh, in the uh, smoking in the boys' room. They absolutely do. They, they have really had a ball, and, and they, they've really entertained the people constantly, you know, playing music and dancing and singing, and it's, it's just been a joy to have them. And they really add to it, really have. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had uh, some international teams here from, uh, I believe, from Brazil, and, all, and re we really enjoyed those. But I think that this is this is really, really great. That, that one of these teams won the Austrian championship. Oh, really? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, we tasted a little of it. It's awful good. Now, it's a little after 3 o'clock now. Yes. And the ju uh, judging is going to be over when? The judging will be over at 3.30. They, they were, uh, when I left from the judges tent, they were ready for the last category. And then they'll compile all that and the awards will be given out at 4.30. And we got like, uh, I believe it's $13,500 purse, you know. Okay. And uh, there'll be, there's five categories, or maybe six this time, since we, they got a dessert category this time. Oh, yeah. The first time we've ever had dessert, and, uh, and the Europeans are great at that. So uh, we do, their, their, their barbecue is going to be a little different from our barbecue. Yeah. Because they're going to do it their style, and they hope to convince the judges that theirs is the best. It was certainly a unique taste to it. And we, we're going to, cable viewers, we're going to keep you in suspense a little longer, then we'll give you the results down here, see who, who comes away with the honors. Yeah, about 4.30, and it'll be up at the gazebo up on the square. I guess you know where that is. Yeah. And uh, that's where the event, that's where the awards will be given out. 
All right, we'll try to pry some of these UT Alabama fans away from the TV down here and get them up there. We'll turn it off and see I, if they don't come up. <laughs> I'll guarantee these cooking teams will be there. I'll yeah. guarantee that. Oh, boy, they like to hear their, their name mentioned uh, up there. We'll be up there and cover it for the cable viewers. Thank you very okay. much. And thank you. Mr. Frank much. Bobo. Yes, right. Veteran judge right here. A veteran <laughs> distiller. Right, that's it. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Stay with us right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. More to come. More international people. More country people down here at the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue. Hi, folks, right down here at the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue. We're t we're talking to another veteran. Your name? Lawson A. Davis. And you are you do what down here? I'm a boiler operator and a whiskey taster. Boiler operator and whiskey taster. What a great job. Good job. Good place. Good town to be. How long you been involved with Jack Daniels? Seventeen and a half years. Boy, my goodness. And you've made just about all the barbecues, I guess. I've been to every one of them so far, and I hope I don't miss one another one. It's I haven't missed any so far. I haven't missed any so far. Now, now, how many years have they had international people here? Is this? I think this is probably the third year. I'm not sure year. on that. They certainly added a, a kind of an Olympics-type atmosphere to the to the event. That's right, sir. The. Uh, the of course, they've all got their unique taste, and y'all are cooking. They're cooking here. This is the, what's the name of this group here? I had it. This party is the Jack Daniel Party Crew here. Jack Daniel's Party Crew. Now, y'all entered into the competition or just out to party? We don't enter into the competition. Uh -huh. We just cook it, and we got to like all the merchants up on the square that we we sponsor them, you know, and they sell. That's the only way we, they could have control it like that. Right, 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 right. We certainly have a lot of people out here today, and, uh, don't, don't they have a Jack Daniels tasting booth there, down here? They won't let them do it. Only at the distillery. Only each, at the taste, each taster has to go through the tasting booth up there at the distillery. Uh -huh. And I, uh, one of the, uh, uh, I guess the uh, Austrian people were telling me that it was, uh, I think we was talking about the, 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 the humidity or what, but he did mention it was awful dry here, and I said, you're right, it is. <laughs> well, it's humidity Literally. and dry here, and this is a town. It's a dry town, but... <laughs> You can only buy liquor at one place here, and that's on Jack Daniels' premises. And then, you know, that's like our centennial bottles and so forth like that. Now, a lot of the cable viewers out there, believe it or not, they probably lived here a long time. They never have been over to the distillery. And while I've got you on TV, to over 30 or 40,000 people, tell the cable viewers out there when they can come visit. They can come to visit. You talking about the tours and all? Uh -huh. I think it's from 8 to 5, except on Sunday. They may be open on Sunday. I'm not sure of that, but 8 to 5 through the week. Uh -huh. All right, all right, 8 to 5. Isn't it? Have they added any new things to the distillery? Since I think I went through it back in the 60s. Yeah, the only thing that's been added, and that's been about two years ago, is our beer and everything. Jack Daniel got involved in the beer making. Uh -huh. That's called the Jack Daniel Classic. <laughs> so they actually brew beer here too now? Yes, sir. Is that right on the premises over here where they make the whiskey, or is that right a different? Right up here in the holler as you go through on the left, past the guard, up on the left up there. Now let me ask you one other thing. Do they do they bottle this water that they have out of the spring, if they got it into in commercialize and add any? I don't know about the water. Uh -huh. I know bottled water, there is a big boon in bottled water everywhere. At one time we did, but I'm not, you know, I can't answer that question whether uh -huh. they're still involved in it or not. Can you get that water down here? Can, can a tourist come down here and fill up a container? Uh... I'm getting off the subject probably, but I'm just probably, curious. Probably, you know, uh, through a courtesy of the uh -huh. man, a person can contact Jack Daniel, and I believe they probably help him out there. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Well, nice talking with you, and uh, I hope you don't miss another one. Hope to see you again here next year. Well, uh, I hope I don't either. It's been a pleasure talking to you and, uh, and your crew and all, and certainly I didn't know I was on TV just a while ago that you said that, uh -huh. but that's all right, though. Well, this, is, this is a good town. We enjoy yeah. it, and we don't mind expressing our feelings about anything, and we like to treat people like uh, people like to be That's treated. Right. And when they come to Lynchburg, we want to be noted for that. Treat people like uh, down-home people should be treated. Right, right, right. And if we can, we'll try to air our programs over here on your cable uh, network, right? I mean, your cable system right over in Lynchburg. We're working on it. That'll be fine. Just anytime you can get that done uh, i'm sure the, all the people around here in lynchburg love that all right there you go all right folks stay with us right here on the tennessee valley cable network we'll be talking to more people more celebrities and you're certainly a celebrity been a taste tester down here for over 17 years stay with us we'll be back if you haven't seen her want to ask something about i know that jacob Fullhorn's causing a lot of comments be sure and ask one of us and we'll be awfully glad to try to help you out and over here of course is a racetrack 
It's a strange looking track, but you know, folks here in Tennessee are not allowed to race horses. It's terrible because everybody else does, but we can't. But down on the farm, that's okay, we just race everything else. And we have some strange things that run around our racetrack. There's pigs and goats, ducks wearing clothes. And I know you folks are here. Jack Daniels World Championship 96, the biscuit of a famous. You are a winner here at the Living Treasures Race Show. Easy to get. All you got to do is be a cheerleader. But not us. Uh, knows who this belly is. What is your name? My name is Pierre. Pierre, all right. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. All right. <laughs> now, you see? All right, folks, we're down here at the Big Pig Race. Amanda, if you'll zoom on around there and get the shot of all the people. The Big Pig Race, as you saw three of them a while ago racing, they're getting ready to turn some more off. They're choosing their cheerleaders right now. Down here at the Big Jack Daniels Barbecue, folks. The big Pig Races. So far, it's turned out to be a pretty good day. A little breezy. Here we go. Let's, Amanda, watch those pigs. There they go. They're going to let them out and run again. Right on around. There we go. There they go. That's not pigs. That's the goat race. Big goat race. <laughs> hey, he looks like he won. And we got a po slow poke over here, Amanda. Come on over here. <laughs> yeah. got over a few minutes ago, fella. There he goes. Hurry, 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 hurry. There he goes. And there he goes. But who got there? Was it Sean? It was Teapot. He says it was we'll Teapot. We'll be, we'll be, might be eating him next time. Teapot. He's, he's he, too old for the rice. There you go. What is your name? Eli, everybody, let's give Eli a big round of applause. Oh, my goodness, you know how it is with goats. They're just unpredictable, just like all you other kids out here. Oh, we do have a lot of fun. But something coming up next that I bet you folks never, ever dreamed of seeing. Ducks wearing clothes. We're going to have duck race next, folks. They got the ducks coming out with clothes on. I don't believe I've ever seen a duck race before, except when my dog gets after them around the lake. You try to tell them to go here and they go there. And just about the same thing applies to ducks. We went through a lot of different ducks before we found some that we felt could actually brag about being racing ducks. Now maybe they don't race because they don't get in any hurry unless they're chasing a bug. And they'll run twice as slow because they've only got half as many feet. So, what do you got? You got ducks that are going to come out here and just saw her around. The more you folks cheer them on, maybe they'll keep going. Maybe they'll finish the race today. All right, you got the big duck race coming up next, There's folks. Right down here. At the Jack Daniels Barbecue. For several months, land all those Yankees on the other side of Mason Dixon line. We tried to explain to them that Southern people are real, real polite. And you know what? So polite that it rubs off on our animals. Well, they didn't quite get the guest out because Duck race. It's a big quacker event, they call it. They got them. How about that? Right there, the gentleman drinking out of a cup. All right. And finally, for Miss Daisy. Right there. Number 33. All right, guys, get ready for the Quack Derby.
Tripping a little bit. Oh, of course, he's right up here celebrating already. What's your name? What? Jessica? Oh, wrong. This was my cheerleader, right? All right, let's give a big cheer. Can we talk to you? Come in, right over here, Amanda. Where are you from? Uh, Knoxville. Knoxville? Mm -hmm. You ever been down here before? Yep, Look this is where. Look up there camera right there. Say hello. Hi. What's your name? Cody. Cody from Knoxville, Tennessee. Yep. All right. Well, welcome to Lynchburg. You'd like to watch these ducks and animals go around the ring? Mm-hmm. All right. Which one do you like the best? The pigs, the ducks, or the goats? I like the goats. Uh-huh. All right. More to come right here, folks. Stay with us right here at the big uh, animal races. I hope yours wins next time. Right out here. Stay with us. Got you ready? Let's go with the world's only racing emu. There you go. <laughs> and they're off and running. At least most of them are. There they go. A win on that turn. Good gracious. All right, now, you put on a good show out here. Thank you, sir. Your name? My name is Mary Ann Sklar. And where are you from? We're from Newport, Tennessee. Right up there in Newport, Cock County. Right, right. All right. Now, do you, you do this every year? Well, this is our second year here, mm -hmm. but we do this all across the country. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is he, is he, is he related? That's, to that's not related, but he's one of our family. Uh -huh. Yeah. We've got right. a bunch of real good guys. And this so all is our, these our last show for this year on this. So. Uh -huh. so these animals all travel with you? They do. This is a small portion of what we normally uh -huh. take with us. I guess you go to a lot of fairs, county fairs, state uh, fairs? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh -huh. We do an awful lot of fairs, uh, festivals, exhibitions. And uh, like I said, this is kind of sad because it's our last, last thing for this year uh -huh. on the zoo and the races. It's going to be too cold to do any more till next spring. <laughs> got to take a rest. We start with reindeer, though, next week. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Reindeer? Yeah, we have reindeer. Now, where are you going to be? Um, I think our first outing is in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. We'll be over there for a big Christmas festival. At the same time, we'll have a unit up in uh, Columbus, Ohio, doing a, an indoor festival up there, too. All right. So, two indoor deals. All right. That sounds good. That sounds no good. No more rain. Now, some of these animals. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, Amanda swing on around there those are uh, what goats okay these are two alpine goats both weathers and uh, they are a team kermit and rex and they pull our little antique goat wagon oh, give okay. kids rides uh -huh. so they're, they're taking a break now are they oh, through yeah. Yeah. they're taking a break they'll be hooked back up in about uh, 10 minutes uh -huh. of course you've got looks like some llamas over there we've got a llama we've got an alpaca there's a miniature donkey a miniature horse jacob's four horned sheep a uh, caracal sheep from russia um, from Scotland, you've got, uh, well, from all that part of the, the world, you've got the cashmere goat. Uh, there's a um, black Welsh mountain sheep. There's, there's quite a few rare types. There's uh, two fallow deer that are native to Europe. Uh-huh. All right, all right. Then uh, do you, you ever milk these some of these critters? Uh-huh, yeah. The one lying in the corner, that's Isabel. She's our milk goat, and she furnishes the milk twice daily that uh, goes to the uh, bottle babies that race in the... Uh, Hand it up down, giddy up goat race. All right, all right. It's fresh from the source. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like you got it. You're in a little bit of everything. Yep, we love our animals. 
Uh, someday I hope to bring our big zoo down here. We've got a lot of reptiles and parrots and a zebra cross, a lot of different kinds of animals. But this is just our small zoo here. All right, all right. Well, come back next year. We'll be glad to see you. And uh, the, the, the race was just great. Well, appreciate that. We've had a lot of good comments from the folks here and the, the, the people here at Lynchburg. Like I said in the races, we don't do that many Tennessee spots. And this is just one of my favorites. So even though we might have a, a, an offer to go somewhere else, I think we'll always have a unit here. Mm -hmm. This is just wonderful. We love these people. Love All the right. food. All right. I do, too. I love it down here. Thank you very much for talking with us again. And where were you from? Newport, Tennessee. New, that's right. Newport, Tennessee. I kept thinking you were from Oklahoma City. I've been talking to so many people from the uh, other side of the world and the other side of the United States. Right up here, I Newport, Tennessee. I these people. I haven't uh, had a chance yet to get out and, and see what all's over there. Uh, it's not just meat and it's tasting what they've well, got. Always. Oh, it's just great. Just ruins girls they speaking. Really, they really know how to cook their barbecue. Well, thank you very much. Hope you have a real good, nice holiday season with your, all your animals and see you again next time. Thank you, sir. All right. Stay with us right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Well, folks, I like that outfit you got on. Where are you from? I'm out of Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Now, and uh, you got a nice outfit on. Now, who, who in the world had this on at one time? Uh, like, nobody but me. <laughs> Me. How long? How long you been in? The, how long you been doing this? Uh, 22 years. 22 years. Yes, sir. Now you ever get out of Las Vegas? Yes, sir. We go to Las Vegas about three times a year. Do you ever jump out of the plane? Yes, sir. We, well, you no. <laughs> nobody jumped. Well, I was in the movie Honeymoon in Vegas. This jumpsuit on the air. It's Amanda, the, can you crank the camera around there and let him tell us a little bit about that? Those, those outfits, starting with the one on the left. Uh, I'll tell. Let me get my microphone so they can hear. Yeah, it. go ahead. I hope we don't interfere with each other. Test, test, test. All right, he's going. Now tell us a little bit about those uh, costumes. The on the left there is the one I wore in the movie Honeymoon in Vegas. Uh, nobody jumped out of the airplane. Uh, it was a mock-up mock airplane about 30 feet off the ground. We jumped on an airbag. Uh, the next suit there is the one I wore in the, the movie Life and Times of Elvis. Next one there is the one I wore on Oprah Winfrey, David Letterman, Geraldo Rivera, and Entertainment Night. Next black suit. Uh, I have there is the one that I wore <coughs> uh, when we done the uh, entertainment night again. The blue suit back there is the one I wore in the movie Heartbreak Hotel. The new Aloha Hawaii is the movie I'm, is the jumpsuit I'm gonna be wearing in an upcoming movie called Lost in Memphis at the end of the year. And this one right here is a brand new jumpsuit that uh, I'll also be wearing in, a, in the movie Lost in Memphis. Lost in Memphis. Now when is that coming out? It's coming out at the end of December. All right. All right, we'll be we'll be looking for that. Great. Uh, appreciate the people coming by to see this. I <laughs> I can't believe there's as many people here. We was getting ready to leave, but uh, can we get a number or two from you on, yes, for the cable yeah. viewers out there? We're gonna do about four or five songs for you, then we're gonna back it up. All we right. have a show to do in the morning. All right, folks. Stay tuned right here. Go take it away. It'll take a few minutes to set this up, then we'll we'll get on with it. All right. Test one, two. Hope we're not interfering with their wireless mic. Hey, let me go. Now, how long, where, what's your name? Where are you from? Oh, I'm Betsy Dale Valley, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm You're back up singer with him. So. Back up singer? Uh-huh. Now, where do y'all go usually? Well, we have gone to a lot of women's prisons, different places like that. I don't go with him to the Las Vegas trips. They usually have their own backup singers there, but... I just travel different places with him. Uh -huh. Mississippi, Missouri. Uh, I can't think of all the places. We've been to the Bahamas a couple of times. Going to be going to Australia the end of this one, two. year. So he travels quite a bit. He travels all over the world. It's just amazing you come in with an outfit like that and, and resemble Elvis, and a lot of people Testing still one, love two. him a whole lot. Don't they? Wonderful. Even the little Kenry gardeners. I've Testing noticed one, the small two. children love him just as much as the uh, older ones. It's amazing. Elvis. Uh -huh. You know, really touched a lot of lives. Uh, now you, you're passing out. What what have you got here? You're some pictures, uh, different ones of uh, different areas, different places we were, and well, there I am right there, a little bit there. So we can hold one up for the cable viewers. Okay, one, that, one that you would uh, like them to see, maybe There's some of the two. places. This is yeah, where's this at? Women's prison. One of the women's prisons, folks. <laughs> You've been to the. He's the only Elvis that does women's prisons, and they are so wonderful. I bet they are. I mean, well, we have a you know pen pals, captive audience, but they are they are very appreciative of the entertainment, and they like Elvis too. Oh yeah, now, he does a lot of a lot of the classics. And oh yes, yes, uh huh. He's. Now the, the he music. Knows 328 songs, I believe is it is. Is that right? Right. Religious yeah. songs. The. Um, 
well, the most popular one. Right. And the Christmas songs, too, Christmas probably. Christmas songs, wonderful. Yes, yeah. he knows all that. I'll have a blue Christmas. I yeah. love that one. Did you hear that one a minute ago? I wish we did. We were down there watching the ducks go around the track. Oh, we didn't okay. get down here. Well, he's got we, several Christmas songs on. Uh, maybe we can get him to do Merry Christmas, Baby, or uh, some other holiday song. Oh, yeah. And then we could maybe use it during our holiday period that'd on the cable. Wonderful. That'd be wonderful. That great? Maybe sure. put a little bug in his ear. Maybe he'll do that. Okay. That'd be why I'm sure he'd be happy to do it. Now, who does his out? Who puts his outfits together? Who does he has this? different uh, different people that do those for him. I don't know any particular person. I think the lady uh, lady Murfreesboro did the suit he has on tonight. Now where are y'all gonna be next? Uh, do you have any idea? Well, we're gonna be in the Tennessee Women's Prison next weekend. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I believe there's gonna be an upcoming show in December. I think at MTSU. I don't know the dates on that. I'm not sure if they finalized everything or not. Um, that sounds great. Now, do you have any idea how many people that do do what he does across the nation? Is there, is there I, ever anybody that I, ever does that count on it? Is there just a few or a few hundred? I'm or? not really sure, but I know he writes in the top, I think it's the top four or three in the nation uh -huh. as far as the best. Well, you've got to be that that high to get on these TV shows <laughs> like he has. Oh, right, right. He's very okay, good. Okay, ladies, we're going to show outside the last two weekends. We we're going to we're gonna we're let him see switch the cable viewers to, cold, so bear with to Jimmy Aaron. Now, if I'm going to do a show for you, you got to help me out by clapping your hands and sing along with me and everything. you do that for me? Help me out. Will you do that? I've been say it again. Sure will. <laughs> okay. Um uh, turn this around. Pretty good. He's warming up, folks. Swing on around here again, Amanda. You've got some homemade ice cream. What, what kind of ice cream are you eating? Vanilla. Vanilla. Made right here on the spot, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have to go over and get a little sample of that. Now, have you been up here on the square yet? Nope. It's hard. We're trying to get up. We're about halfway up that way. We're going to we're gonna try to get up here and talk to a few more people. Some, a lot of celebrities over here today. You've talked to any, seen any of them around here? These nope. TV people? Yeah. Have you just seen Robert Reeves over there. Robert Reeves. And where's he from? Um, uh, Huntsville. Huntsville. All right. Have you ever been on TV before? Nope. Well, look over at the camera and wave at somebody. Well, I'm trying. I hope it's mine. Say hello. Hello. All right. And <laughs> uh, uh, Elvis over here, Jimmy Aaron, is going to going to get on the get his mic straightened out, and he's he's getting ready to go on with a performance. Okay, the first song we're going to do is the song that Elvis took and uh, took three songs and made one out of it. And I'm sure how I many of you ever heard the song Dixieland, American Trilogy. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I wish I were in the land of cotton.
Jimmy Aaron, right here at the big Jack Daniels barbecue. All right, folks, we're talking to some entrepreneurs down here in Lynchburg. Let me have your name. Ryan Cates, Eli Walt. All right, now you down here got you all selling Cokes and, and Eats for uh, your scout troop? Um, karate. Karate? Yes, sir. Is that, do you all have karate in the scouts now? No, sir. 
I had to work down here for scouts today. Oh, you did? Yes, sir. All right, all right. When uh, uh, What troop is that, here in Lynchburg? Is that what you said earlier? Yes, sir, Troop 323. All right, y'all done pretty good here today? Yes, sir. All right. What about you? You in the scouts yet? No, sir. You gonna, what are you looking to get in the, the Cub Scouts here soon? No, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's the back of that shirt say? Flying Tigers? That's all right. Lynchburg, Tennessee, Flying Tigers, to Tojo. Now, that's a, the karate, bat, right? Yes, sir. All right. Now, can you, you show some karate chops to the cable viewers out there? Show us a few of those famous moves. Okay. Uh, forward on angle kick, let's say that. Um, it's a strike at the knee. It knocks the kneecap out of place. It does? Yes, sir. Right. I wouldn't want mine knocked out of place. I wouldn't you, either. You can, you, you can do it, right? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. How long have you been taking karate? Since I was four. Since you were four years old. You think you could fight an adult off? Maybe. Maybe. Get Maybe. Them, get them where it'll mess them up where they'd have to slow down anyway. Yes, sir. You take it too? Yes, sir. How long have you been in it? Not very long. <laughs> here comes somebody that knows about it. She's got that flying tiger thing on too. Come on over here and be on TV. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Come on over here. Look over here at the cable. She's already got you on TV. Stephanie Titus and I'm from Lynchburg. You're from Lynchburg. Now, how long have you been taking this thing? Karate. Well, for sure and I took it for about a year. And for sure and I've took it for about two months so far. Yeah, yeah. What about you? My name's Ashley Roberts. You taking it too? Yes, sir. All right. Y'all right. are a team, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Are y'all related? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. We're just friends. Uh, right. Just friends. But down here in Lynchburg, everybody knows everybody here, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's almost like a big family. Yes, yes sir. All right. Y'all had a lot of people down here today. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Can you demonstrate your, one of your moves? Oh gosh, no! I'll demonstrate one of our cops. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, we got plenty of tape. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> What's that move called? Show up. Uh, well, say song. They all have Oriental names, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Now, if we just put the Macarena on, we'd have it, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the all right. Yeah, we'll play the Macarena when we play it here next time. You uh, can tell what rank we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, my next rank will be black. She's. Fixing the test for her yellow. She's yellow and he's yellow. All right, all right. The big Lynchburg Flying Tigers to Dojo. Well, yes, sir. Dojo. We'll I'd like to get one of those T-shirts sometime now. Okay. All right. We got T-shirts. Right, Never know what you're going to see right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Stay with us. We're going to talk to more people. We might even go down there and talk to Elvis again down there. Stay with us. All right, folks down here by the big gazebo being entertained by the the uh, Austrian group there you heard earlier, or there may be some Germans there with them. We'll swing on, pan on around there, uh, Amanda, if you can. Get a little shot of them on the gazebo. We got some people that are visiting down here we're going to talk to uh, while, they're, while they're watching that. What's your name? My name's Harry Gray. Where are you all from? Temple, Texas. Temple, Texas? Yes, sir. Had y'all come down here? Y'all look like you might have ridden your bicycle, motorbikes down here. Uh, not hardly. A Ford oh, okay. pickup truck. A Ford pickup <laughs> We talked to the Harley group out of Huntsville last time we were down here during the Frontier Days, and I, I just thought maybe by chance. Uh, no, we fall off. We fall off anything that has two wheels on it. <laughs> all right, yeah, all of you from Temple, Texas. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. All right, uh, swing bone back around here, Amanda. Let's get the, these people on TV. <laughs> Give us a wide angle yeah, shot. Yeah, you need a wide are, angle are you, shot. Are y'all related or anything, or just friends? Oh, well, you got a husband and wife team, and then. Rest of us just we're all friends. No, we're, we're not related. <laughs> 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 Can't you tell? Uh, all right, all right. Uh, is, did y'all come up here just especially for the big barbecue? Yes, yes, we did. All the way from Temple, Texas. Temple, Texas. Are y'all cooking here today or anything? Yes, sir, we are. What's the name of your group? 
Special edition cooking team. Special edition cooking team. And we're getting ready to hear the results of the judging here in a few minutes, aren't we? Yes, sir. Now, what do y'all specialize in? Oh, a little bit of everything, I guess. Just brisket, chicken, pork ribs, pork shoulder. We got it all. Have you been up in Lynchburg before? This is our first time. First time? Yes, sir. Now, do you c compete a lot down in the Texas area or yeah, other parts do. of the country? Yeah, we do. Have you traveled outside of the other areas? K went to Kansas City, Missouri here about, what, three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. Uh -huh. About three weeks ago. All right. All right. Won the Nationals in Meridian this year. Is that right? Meridian, in Meridian Mississippi. Texas. No, Meridian, Texas. Meridian, Texas. Texas. Okay. So, well, we go a lot in Texas. Uh -huh. Mainly, we do Texas every weekend. You do? This, we got an invitation to. That's why we're here. All right. It's pretty warm down there all year round, isn't it? Pretty much. We don't see snow and stuff like most folks do. Uh -huh. Well, it's still pretty nice down in Texas. Oh, we love Texas. In fact, I wish I was home right now, to be honest. <laughs> All right. And what about you? What do y'all do down there when you're not doing barbecue? Work. Just regular work. <laughs> just regular work. This is just a hobby. All right. All right. Well, I like that hat you got on there. Thanks, sir. Got a little bit of everything on it. Uh, yes, sir. Redneck hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right here. Thank you for talking with us, folks from Temple, Texas. They are the special edition cookers, right? Yes, sir. All right, well, good luck to you. Thank you very much. If, folks, we're going to hear some more, more entertainment. Let's go on up here, swing on up here to the gazebo. I'm going to talk to some other people here. Excuse me. Now, where are y'all from? The, you're the Smoking Guns? Yeah, we're from uh, Central Florida, West Central Florida. West Central Florida. Right. My goodness. Have y'all been up here before? No, it's first time here at uh, Jack Daniels. It's been a lot of fun. Enjoyed it very much. Now, what did y'all specialize in cooking today? Uh, we did uh, uh, pork butts, we did chicken, and uh, uh, brisket. Those three. Yeah. We were in Tennessee not long ago. We were up in Knoxville. Florida Gators work. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, they got a big game going today. I don't know who's winning. We've been too busy. Was ahead at halftime. Is that right? Yeah, three, three nothing. nothing. All right. Who's All right. winning? Uh, Alabama was ahead at halftime. Down in the big state of Georgia. I mean, Florida. We went to the Cookville cookoff about a month ago. Uh huh. And it was a good cookoff. Swing on around here, Amanda. Get a shot of these gentlemen from all the way from Florida. Now, what part of Florida are you from? Uh, we're from Lakeland. Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland, oh yeah. Which is right between Tampa and Orlando. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice area down there. Yeah, it is. All right, y'all travel anywhere else to well, uh, compete? We won the Louisiana State Championship to, oh, really? to be, be in the lottery to, to get here. In Kansas and, uh, City, we were in the Kansas City Royal in Kansas City a couple weeks ago. And the Cookville, we went to Cookville, Tennessee and Tryon, North Carolina. And that's about it. That sounds like a lot of traveling, and I know you do a lot of cooking. I think we sampled some. They had a whole bunch of the samples out there under the oh, tent. Yeah, yeah. We tried. They were all good, really good. I don't think anybody here turns in much bad food. Everybody here is pretty good cook. I'll say it was so good I didn't even put any sauce on it, didn't it? No, you don't need any sauce if it's good. That's right. Who are you working for? We were the Tennessee Valley Cable Network, cable access television here in the lower middle Tennessee area. We uh, hope to, hope you do good here in the judging. We'll, we'll know here soon. Well, we've enjoyed it very much. It's a great time of year to be around here. All right. Well, thanks for talking with us. All right. Thanks. Swing on around there. Uh, or that's the Austrian TV camera crew with the uh, yodeling bear on top of his camera. And uh, we're going to try to swap some tapes here uh, overseas when they get back. Just all kinds of festivities down here, uh, folks. Bringing it all home to you. They're going to have the results of the big... Uh, barbecue the big judging present the trophies here soon just a real big international flavor down here amanda have you ever seen anything hurt have you ever seen anything like this before no this is the biggest event i've seen in a long time uh -huh. really just keep, we just keep getting the bigger and better things yeah we sure do <laughs> all right uh let's get a can you get a shot over here go ahead and stop it yeah All right, folks, stay with us. Just keep the camera rolling. I swing up to the gazebo here. Let me find somebody else to talk to. Just keep the camera rolling. Yeah. 
All right, Amanda, can you hear me? Swing on around here, toward the back, right over here. Just keep it rolling, but just swing on around. Swing on around to the behind you. Here you go, right here. You see me? Can you get me? Now this hat, can you get a zero of his hat right here? Step over here, sir, if you don't mind. Just look right into the camera. Can you get a shot of his hat, Amanda? Now tell the cable viewers a little bit about that hat. Uh, this is the Central, this is the Central Texas Barbecue Association hat. I happen to be the vice president of the Central Texas Barbecue Association. Uh, pins on the hat are from the Kansas City Royal three weeks ago, and the one from the barbecue cook-off today is Jack Daniels. All right, all right. Now, uh, do this hat, do you wear it every year? I wear this hat at all barbecue cook-off. <laughs> it's hard to hear a little bit about hear about what you said. And I hope I don't ask you the same question, but uh, tell the people your name and where you're from. My name is Bill Payne, assistant cook at Alice's Kitchen. We're from Clifton, Texas. Clifton, Texas. Clifton, Texas. Now, have you been down to Jack Daniels Barbecue before? No, sir. That's first time. First time down, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Well, hope you do well in the judging. Thank you, sir. How many people are with you? Just me and my wife. Just you and your wife cooking. Okay. We were down there earlier. We didn't get a chance to go around and talk to everybody. They were getting ready for the judging. But uh, this is where it, this is where it all boils down to right here. The big uh, ju the the uh, results from the judges and the hand handing out of the trophies. That's true, and you got the best cooks in the United States here, right here today. Right here, okay, folks. Folks, swing on around there. Get the uh, now. What's that guy's name? You know him. Are you all ready for some trophies? Which one? The guy up at the gazebo talking right now. Now, what's his name? I don't have least idea. Really. All right, he looks like a judge of some sort. Anyway, folks. That's the ceremony down there. Yeah. Good manners here and thanking some people who are responsible for this big event. First of all, the people from Jack Daniels and people of Lynchburg, and to, to name a few of the Jack Daniels people Peggy Vessels, Mary Lee Thomas, Clayton Knight, Tom, Tommy Sullinger, Roger Brashears, Lynn Tolley, Jimmy Bedford, and many others, uh, Angelo Lucchese. Let's hear a hand for them. There's also Tana Shoot, Marcia Henley, Nathan Buchanan, Anthony Forster, and I'll introduce a couple more later, but let's hear it for them. And then, as you know, this is a, a contest which is sanctioned by the Kansas City Barbecue Society, and we've had some excellent volunteers from that society, Gary and Carolyn Wells, Guy Simpson, Lou, Lee Newland, uh, from Memphis in May, Mike Cannon. Um, I'm forgetting some other, but let's hear it from there. There's another person we need to thank a lot for bringing this European influence to this year's contest, which I think has been fantastic. Joe Don Davidson really got that started, and I think we need to applaud him and our European teams. Ceremonies, the retired distiller from the Jack Daniels Distillery, Mr. Frank Frog Bobo, and he'll be Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, man, go ahead and cut it. We've already talked to him. All right, folks, talking to a lot of people down here watching the big awards. Your name, where are you from? Uh, Betty Duff from Vancouver, British Columbia. All right, look up there at the camera. Now, what, what in the world you got on your neck here? You got about, it looks like a dozen different necklaces. That's why, what I wanted to discuss with the cable view. <laughs> uh, just kind of a souvenir of places we go and uh, pick one up on my trip and uh -huh. rings and chains. <laughs> All right, now, is this your husband over here? Yes, it is. All right, what's your name? Hi, Fred Roycroft. All right, how's the weather getting up here? Look up here in the canyon. The weather up there is probably as good as it is here. A little more rain, but not as cold as it's been down here. I, I'm going to go home for heat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of snow up there, don't you? 
Oh, once or twice a year. We don't get that much. It rains eight months of the year, but it keeps it green in the summertime. <laughs> All right, and that's uh, uh, Vancouver? Vancouver. My goodness. All right, now, this, now what about your sidekick over here? Is she from Vancouver, too? She's the cook. She's the cook, the cook. from our team. How you doing? <laughs> What what are y'all cooking? Oh, see, we're cooking sauce. They're cooking uh, ribs, chicken, and pork butt. All right. Look at that. Look at that. She won. Second place. Second place. I don't think we ever got the, such a spontaneous uh, reaction. Hey, you worked hard for that. She's from the state of Washington. Yeah. All right. She's from the state of Washington, She's huh? She's from uh, Everett. Everett, Everett, Washington. All right, all right. I saw her in the, uh, uh, the hardware store earlier, and I, uh, I wanted to talk with her because she had a unique accent. And $1,000. First place. Slaughterhouse Five. Slaughterhouse Five, folks, won first place in the sauce. As they make their way up to the stage, $1,000. Yeah. Nope. Always. <laughs> it's her first year cooking too. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Is, is this your first year down to down to Lynchburg? No, this is our fourth year that we. Fourth been year. Down. Yeah. Uh -huh. We come down and help uh, help their team. Uh, her mother's been cooking for for years, and we've come down and help her mother. And now this is the first year that she's been cooking on her own. So uh -huh. she's had a winning streak this year. All right. Let's get a picture of that. <laughs> Look here, show this to the cable viewers. Look at, you just won. Look at the, hold that up for the cable viewers. There it is. Second place, here we go. I drove all this way. We're in good shape. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. we hope to see you all down here next time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. Hey, right. Chad. Amy. Right. You bet. Can I get one? A lot of excitement down here at the big barbecue cook-off in Lynchburg, Tennessee. People just literally all over the world down here. There they come, l, l Cooking Crew, fourth place. How, how was that drive down here? Good. It's pretty well, good well, other than being cold in the evenings, so uh, it's... You'll have got an RV or something? No, we just, uh, we stay in the canopy of the Dodge Hilton. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hell of a Dodge Hilton, I'm telling you. It's sweet. It's very sweet. All right. We're right. on five weeks holidays, so we're just, uh, from here we go to the big chili cook-off over in Texas. Oh, yeah. They got some hot chili over in Texas now. Yes, and we're going to do a damn good job at it, I'll tell you that. Uh -huh. Barbecue over there, too, at the same time. So oh, my goodness. Just getting a new uh, Fred, how many teams we got going over there? Ten? In the Northwest, about, about ten or a dozen. Ten or a dozen going over there to uh, Texas. Oh. We're going to have a good time. That's uh, British Columbia, uh, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and, well, I shouldn't say Seattle, all of Washington. <laughs> I appreciate you talking with us down here. I'd like to get up there and visit your part of the country some of these days. Glad to have you. Pretty, pretty country. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, folks, stay with us. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. The big award ceremony at the gazebo in downtown Lynchburg, right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Pyro Pig Mania. Now, where are they from? Pyro Pig Mania. You know where they're no, from? No, I'm just. Uh, no, I don't know where they're from. Uh, the one thing I do love about this though is, it doesn't matter who wins or loses here. All the teams are supportive of everybody else. There's no jealousy that goes on. Yeah. And oh yeah. I, that's what I like about it. That's why I come down here for this. It's a great event. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a lot of fun right here. Get a shot of them. Big winners. Big winners. We're going to be talking to some more people, folks. $1,000, is that the top prize on each category? No, no. Uh, top prize is, I, I believe, $1,500. $1,000 or $1,500 for the grand champion. Okay. And uh, they get an invitation automatically next year to come down here. And uh, what happens? The people that have to qualify have the equivalent of a state championship for a barbecue to come down here. So uh -huh. it's a big event for the barbecue circuit. This is the biggest event of the year. Is it really? Yes, it is. Nationwide? Nationwide. You have Kansas City. You have Mem Memphis and May. Memphis and May has like maybe 150,000 people. I mean, a huge crowd. Maybe yeah. I'm exaggerating on the size of it, but 
This is a bigger event than that because all the barbecue teams know this is this is the the ultimate prize is when you come down to the Jack Daniel barbecue. Right. And uh, they they love it. They come down here and people take care of them. Uh, but it's a uh, it's kind of like a family vacation too. From talking to some of the teams, they they enjoy coming down here because they're taken care of and it's a relaxed atmosphere and. Uh, even though the competition's stiff, everybody has a good time, and uh, that's why I come down every year. Uh -huh. Where are you from? Uh, Nashville. From Nashville. All right. Now, did you say you worked at the distillery? I, yeah, I worked with Jack Daniels 17 years now. Uh -huh. And this is something. <laughs> Congratulations. Go, Amy. Go, girl. Woo! <laughs> hey, Amy. Amy, lean back for a second. Are you content with this award? I'm uh, very content. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you would be. <laughs> All right. All the excitement of the CMA award too. Yeah, it kind of is for the barbecue circuit. This would be the CMA. This is a. Uh, this is this is the pinnacle for the barbecue circuit. Now, if you ask Kent, Kansas City Barbecue Society or some of the others, I, I'm sure they would say, "Well, our events are as big," and I'm sure they they have their own highlight to it, but. Uh, my personal opinion is, uh, well, I'm not biased because I work for the company, but it's that they have a lot of fun when they come down here. It's a relaxation, too, as well as uh, competing. So, oh, yeah. But it is, uh, and they, they come back every year. And um, there's one team over here called the Beaver Casters. They're sitting here, I know, but they've, uh, they're the only team that's been here every year we've had the barbecue. And I don't know what that, that means other than if you were like a baseball or a football team, they have a consistency that just can't be beat. They qualify every year, like a World Series team, to get in there. They might be the Atlanta Braves, but uh, if they heard me say that because they're from Seattle, they'd shoot me. But but it's a it's a fun event, and that's what that's the best part about it. It's everybody has a good time while they're down here. Hello, Peggy. All right. There's Peggy. Peggy, you want to say hello to the head? Come on, Peggy. Say hello to cable viewers over here. Hello, cable viewers. What are you doing down here today? <laughs> You're the official, aren't you? Um, the official, uh, what? <laughs> the short shoulder vision. She is the one that puts us together. Peggy, Peggy's responsible for putting all this together every year. A lot of work. That just means I go, hey, Tana, great job. A lot. <laughs> huh? uh, look at that, they won. Look at that. Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> Peggy's busy right now. She's, she's oh, I'm sure. She's yeah, she's, she's the one, uh, her and uh, Tana Shoup is the one actually that uh, puts a lot of this. Tana's responsible for putting this event together. Oh, well, and on the, the phone, we're going to try to get down here and talk to Clayton Knight. Of course, he's worked real hard on this thing. Clay oh, Clayton, he's, he's as much responsible for this event as anyone else. He's a... Uh, He's the key in Lynchburg for turning it over here. I appreciate him for, for riding us a tent for the big Tennessee-Alabama game and letting us put our By the way, logos who, who up there. Won today? I, I don't know. We've, we've been up here talking to people. I don't know. Well, uh, the, the one thing, every time I come down here each year, even though the Tennessee-Alabama game is close. Way to go, you two. You're doing <laughs> No, you're doing damn good. The big winner's first place right there. She's shaking. Oh, I want to know that dessert, though. That's fabulous. Way to go. Fourth place in the whole uh, hog division goes on, to Frog. Beaver Caster. Amy, you having too much fun down there. You are. You are. Hey. <laughs> this is all your fault. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. My only job is to contribute to the debate. Go ahead and stop. Thank you. Thank you. Here. There. The microphone and there will pick up. Turn this one off. Sorry. I'm going. No. Sorry. I'm going to run down the car and get the other roll of tape. I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and shoot the big stuff, the grand prize, whatever. Now, second place in the whole hub category. The $300 goes to the Pyro Pig Maniac.